Xiao Mao. I'm the principal design engineer from IPG CTO office. Today I'm going to talk about the HCNN, hierarchical CNN, design for traffic sign recognition. This algorithm could help us to achieve the state-of-art performance with about one-twentieth of the complexity comparing to the best resort reported in 2015. So in 2012, there's an international competition on traffic sign recognition to recognize German traffic signs. And for this competition, they provide the average human, they provide some results. For example, the average human results uh, for correct detection rate is about, it's below 99%. And but the best human performance is around 99.22%. And among all those uh, attendees for this competition, one algorithm called LeQuinz CNN uh, could achieve 99.18% uh, comparing to the best human, it's slightly worse. Although there's another CNN-based algorithm could achieve 99.4% uh, correct detection rate. That is the best of among all the, the algorithms that proposed for German traffic sign recognition but that the best CNN is about eight times more complexity than the LeQuinz network. So if you look at the results, you might be happy to see that, okay, a computer vision algorithms could beat the best human uh, results. But is, is it enough? Should we stop at here? So think about such a traffic sign recognition algorithm. Ultimately, or eventually, it all goes into your autopilot car or an ADA system, 99.99% um, correct detection rate might not be acceptable because a single error could cost a lot. Um, in some cases, it might be lives. So what we try to do is to see what we can do the best for the CNN-based algorithm to recognize a traffic sign. So let's take the German traffic sign, take a close look to the German traffic sign and see how it looks like. So there are 43 signs that de de defined in the German traffic sign database. And um, as human beings ourselves, we predetermined six um, categories for these 43 signs. For example, there are this uh, red circle with digits in the center, which is speed limit signs. And there are the danger signs, which is a red triangle with some symbols in, in the middle. For example, um, the curve ahead or merge ahead or attention, please. And these are the, the third uh, categories or families of the traffic sign is mandatory signs. Basically, it tells you what you should do in the next. Make a left turn, go straight forward, or keep right. And there are a bunch of others similar to this. And there's uh, the fourth is the prohibitory signs, which tells you what you should not do. So the red circle with nothing sign, meaning no vehicles. And the red circle with the trucking inside is like uh, no overweighted uh, vehicles uh, or trucks. And this means no passing uh, area. And right opposite to that, which is in gray color and with the same shape but have this uh, point left down bar, which meaning the zoom for uh, no vehicle, no overweighted truck, and no passing zone are ended. And in the end, there are several unique uh, signs, for example, the stop sign, the do not enter sign, and the yield. So if you look at these shapes or, or these six categories, it's, it's kind of de designed for human being. So that also consistent with the result that we saw from the uh, best human being results. If you look at errors that we make, we very often make mistakes only uh, within a family. For example, the 30, mile, 30 kilometers per hour with, can be taken as 80 kilometers per hour. Um, but we seldom make, make mistakes between, let's say, the 50 kilometers and the, the keep right turn because they're of different colors. Um, but this feature, is not, may not be preserved by a computer vision algorithm. And if you look at the errors that make made by the LeQuinz CNN, uh, you will find out that although the number of uh, mistakes 
uh, made by a computer vision is about the same as he best human. Uh, we made uh, the computer vision make a lot, a uh, lot of mistakes across uh, families. So what does it mean? It means that uh, the CNN, the computer vision, did not understand the families. So how could we um, teach the CNN to understand families? And that is we come up with. We take the strategy of divide and conquer. So when a challenge comes to us, we usually took a few seconds and like give a quick answer. And if we are given more time, we would spend uh, more time. We would uh, consider or think about this problem more carefully and thoroughly, and try to find a better solution. So this is what we do for the traffic sign, and what as a human being, and this is what we're going to do to teach the computer to 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 recognize a sign. Um, so instead of decide what a sign it is in one shot, we decide to do that into a steps. In the first, we will have a fam one CNN designed to, class to classify different families. That is called family clustering. And with that done, you will have a decision on which family it is. And then each family will have a different CNN network to determine which members that sign within a family. So in, in the end, you will have, uh, if you have K families, you will have K plus one different CNNs. And they are in hierarchical. Level one is for family, level two is for member. And this hierarchical CNN concept, although is straightforward, but um, the non-trivial part of it is how do you get this K plus one different CNNs. How are you going to train them? And how are you going to determine how many families you are going to have? So in our next section, I'm going to reveal the secret to you about the HCNN in details. Thank you for watching today's Whiteboard Wednesday. See you next time.